little tutorial about watch storage this morning. This has nothing to do with reborn babies this morning, you guys. This is about watch storage. So if you want to see some watch storage um, ideas, please keep watching. So what you'll need for this tutorial is actually a pool noodle from Dollar Tree. Um, they have a lot of different colors out right now. So pool noodle, my favorite color is purple. So I purchased two. Um, in this um, tutorial, I'm using what I already had. So I already have this. Let me show you guys. This is what I use for my slacks. I use this for my scarves. I use this for my pants. I use this for different things. I believe I got this at Ross. They have this with different colors in it. My favorite color is purple. I believe they have black. They have teal. So um, if you want to do this particular tutorial, this is what you will need. You will need something sharp. I just have, I think this is a fillet knife. I'll have it because of the length. Um, you could also use your scissors. Be very, very careful because you would only need one end. You could use an X-Acto knife. Um, a writing utensil, I'm using a Sharpie so I can see it. A tape measure, I did get this at Dollar Tree, you guys, and this is only a 60 inch tape measure, but I like it because it curves. It's not like a standard stay straight type of tape measure. And you need your watches. I have numerous watches. Um, let me insert the clip and show you guys where I used to keep my watches. So this is where my watches were before. This is my closet, you guys. I told you I had to put some of the baby's things in my closet. There's Jay's bottle. So here's my closet, um, the side I don't really use. So I have some of the baby's clothes there. Um, I have one of these actually for my scarves. So there's one, two, three, Four. I told you guys I have numerous scars. This is my favorite one. But this is my jewelry container. I believe I got this from, I mean my jewelry storage. I believe I got this from Container Store. So I just had them all bunched up right here. There's another side to it. This is like my silver side. This is my colored. I, I love purple. So I have a lot of purple. I got some empty spots. But all my watches were here. And some were down here. Just... There's one, so this, I have too many, and I can't really see them, so this is going to be great for my watch storage. Okay, so that's where I used to keep my watches, and as you can see, that is no longer efficient, so I was looking for a better storage solution, and I believe I found it. So I got the pool noodle, and I just placed it on here, like so. Uh-oh, hit my ceiling fan. Like so. And I measured where it would stop and I cut it to length and I got three and you can just slide these on and you can still use them you can still hook them I gave a little about an inch of leeway and I just cut them with my fillet knife now you need to measure your wrist and how big your watches are if you're trying to do bracelet storage I think this will work in itself you would just slide your bracelets on I believe this pool noodle is seven inches around so let me just measure that and verify so seven and some change can y'all see that It's a glare on my end. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like almost seven and a half, almost. Now my wrist is six and a half inches. So this is actually too large for my watches. See my watches will not fit all the way around. So I had to cut it. So when you cut the complete noodle, you'll get three and a little bit left over. So I went ahead and cut some off. I cut an inch and a half. And then my watches were able to fit snugly on there. And there's still enough room to slide this on comfortably. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these three to this same width and this is how 
my watches will look. Oh, but it's not staying upright. Oh man, how do I get them to stay upright? Hmm. Nope, they all fall down. Well, that's not good. If you want to, you can also go ahead and glue it together so it'll stay, stay shut. With your watches wrapped around it, it'll stay shut. But I don't know how to get it to stay forward facing. Huh. I may have to tweak this a bit, you guys. Let me think. Because it's... The face makes it heavier. So it doesn't stay upright. The face will go down. I guess whenever you want your watch, you just have to roll it up. Hmm. Well, when you're getting your watch, you would actually take it off. So I guess that makes no difference. Oh man, I thought this was going to be a great tutorial. I practiced before I started filming and I got it to the right size that I needed and I got my watches around it very comfortably, but now they're face down because I didn't want to have to take it all the way off the hanger. I just wanted to unfasten it. Huh? Okay, you guys, that's what I talk about. I have great ideas, but the execution. So there's my watch storage. <laughs> my hanging watch storage DIY tutorial, you guys. <laughs> wow. Is this a blooper? Is the whole reel a blooper? I don't know, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, fam. I was determined not to leave y'all with something that did not work with the blooper. So I was over here trying to figure out how to keep them to stay in the front. And hubby daddy actually helped me. What you have to do is you have to make sure this is tight around the hanger. It goes on, but it is very, very snug. So the pool noodle doesn't have room to wiggle or move and it'll keep your watches face front. Now, let me tell you guys the circumference of it so you know how much to cut off. Let me measure it. Hold on. Let me go on ahead. Hold it up. So to get it snug around the hanger, it needs to be six inches. So you have to cut an entire inch and a half off of here. So it'll be securely snug around the hanger and your watches will stay face front. Now it still maneuvers. Now this is very, very snug, but it'll still come off. I'm putting a lot of force. It'll still come off and on, but with the watches face front, I don't think you would have to take it off and on because your watches stay facing you. If your if your wrist size is six and a half, so this one is loose. This one's a little loose. This one doesn't move. So there it is, you guys. Hopefully that is helpful for you. <laughs> oh my! I enjoy stuff like this. I enjoy creating my own DIYs because it makes me feel proud. I accomplished something. I'm not a working person. I'm a, a stay-at-home mom. So me creating things like this, I really, really enjoy this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment, you guys. So now I just need to cut these three, cut one more, and put them on here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot one major, major thing. To secure it, I tried to super glue it, but you have to keep it together. So I just taped it. Duct tape. And... Let me slide it off one more time. I'm putting a little effort. I duct taped it around, not long ways, around to keep it closed. Okay, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm really done this time. Thanks for watching.